No, I've never heard of toxic shock syndrome. I've heard of it, but I don't really know much. Yes, I've heard of toxic shock syndrome. Um, I first read about it when I started my periods at the age of 12. Because in the packet there was a pamphlet, and then I opened it and read. Amongst all of the things that were inside, I read um, the definition of TSS, and they said that um, TSS originates from leaving your tampon in for too long or wearing t um, pads for an extended period of time. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All I know is that it's a bacterial infection with the tampons. If you've left it on for a long period of time and it causes some sort of infection. Yeah, because remember like when women are on their periods and they use a tampon instead of a pad, it gets so comfortable that you end up actually forgetting you're on your periods. So keeping that tampon on for a long period of time actually causes like a buildup of bacteria and yeah, that's TSS. I do know about toxic shock syndrome. I don't know anything about it, like this is the first time I'm hearing about it. When you're using the tampons, there's a time allocation. So if more than it's cut less, then the tampon lands are something like paparazzi and then you can go into coma. It's a very rare disease. That is, I mean, it's a condition that is a, a resulting from complications of infections caused by a streptococcal infection or staphylococcal infection. You can get these infections through the use of contaminated uh, tampons in women, and then you can get it uh, following uh, uh, surgery, you know, you can, the, the, the wound can be infected. The patient will come in being very, 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 very hot. Will come with a, with, you know, a terrible fever. And then hot and red, you know, clammy skin. It's excessive sweating, headaches, sometimes convulsions like epileptic seizures or mental confusion or rash, and uh, the rash will be mainly in the palm of the hands. With ten, ten pounds, we are very much aware that they are expensive, but personal hygiene is the key. Wash before you use your tampons, ne? before you apply those tampons and then change them regularly, let's say every three hours.